Yo, what's going on guys, Dr. Brute 7 signing in back with another PlayStation Vita unofficial port tutorial video. This was a surprise, we just got a very amazing game ported by yours truly, Rin. Without him, none of these would have been possible. If you want to show your thanks and support, go to the link in the description. I have his Patreon account linked up. You guys can show your appreciation. It doesn't take much to say thank you for all the hard work these amazing guys of the scene are doing. This time, we get Backstab HD for the PlayStation Vita, an Assassin's Creed-like game by Gameloft. So Rin, he collaborated with Glintwine and made this port possible. So I do not have Glintwine's support page. I'll just link it up on my description along with Rin's Patreon. Secondly, what you need is a PlayStation Vita that has been jailbroken. So if you're looking to jailbreak your PlayStation Vitas, just check the links in the description. I have two different methods of jailbreaking your PlayStation Vitas. Take your pick. Thirdly, you're going to require the game data files. YouTube has their own policies. We need to respect them as content creators. Those who are incapable of understanding that because sometimes I get some of these comments that doesn't make no sense. I expect everyone to understand that if I'm not able to do something, it means I'm going against YouTube's policies. If you want me to help you out even better, then please join my Discord server. Join my server and you'll understand what I'm trying to say. So let's start with how to set up the game. First of all, you're going to require the game version, the latest game version of the game for Android. The latest version is 1.2.8D. Acquire the .apk file along with the data files. Other versions may work too, but no support is provided for them as it's written here. So after acquiring those game files and the APK file, use an APK extractor and extract the .apk file. This is the file that you need, lib pirates.so okay so you're going to create a folder and name it as backstab just like this inside that folder you're going to paste the extracted lib pirates.so file along with the game data file which should look like this so you're done with acquiring and setting up the game files and folders for the playstation vita go to this link and download the vpk file you're all set for the copying and pasting process okay there are a couple of stuffs that i am going to tell you and show you the game has some issues it's a bug so it says on first level sometimes you're going to experience some random loss in music or dialogue or something like that which cannot be fixed most likely second is start Starting a new game over an old save loads the old save instead. So if you're out of slot, you're going to have to remove the save files manually from the data folder. I'm going to show you guys in details about that. Connect your PlayStation Vita using Vita Shell. Go into the data folder, copy and paste the acquired and created backstab game folder into the data folder of the PlayStation Vita's storage. Inside here, if you go into the main game folder and files, I just deleted it. So here inside the file subfolder, you're going to see lib save or something like that delete that so i do have some save files like the auto save it says global save zero so if you manually save or something like that you're going to see that as well we're just going to go ahead and delete these dat files after copying and pasting the game data file copy and paste the vpk file into the root of your sd card and two more important homebrew apps that are required to be installed if you do not have them one is auto plugin 2 and another one is shark breed these are the must have homebrew apps that are required to run these unofficial ports okay i'm going to show you guys the next steps on the playstation vita all right guys so on the playstation vita you're going to look for the backstab.vpk file you're just going to go ahead and install it i already have it installed if you're also required to install the other two homebrew apps just go ahead and do so exit out of vita shell you're going to run shark breed go into vita plugins install plugins first plugin that you're going to install would be qbridge by the official flow after that you're going to install either fd fix by the official flow or repatch by dots tb so you're going to install either one of these two repatch or fd fix if you're unsure about if you had them installed before you can go into uninstall plugins you're going to get a list of all the installed plugins so just make sure that you do not have both of these plugins overlapping each other after installing the required plugins you're going to restart your playstation vita run shark breed shark breed is going to just do its own thing you do not need to do anything okay so i'm just going to do some overclocking because the game it's a bit graphics hungry now 
time to run backstab so if you go into settings here you can set the left stick and right stick dead zones fps locks i would recommend 30 fps graphics details i just did set it to high geometry detail it's recommended to set to medium save and launch first time when you're going to be running the game go into controls your sensitivity will be set somewhere around here you will just drag it all the way to the left and go into control scheme and set the control scheme to two, number two and accept all right look at the graphics man amazing this game is an assassin's creed style game to be more specific assassin's creed 4 black flag it's an open world game climb buildings and towers just like you can do with assassin's creed this game is from an era when game loft was trying to create some ips of their own based off the triple a title we already have for the home consoles modern combat series takes the idea from call of duty games nova series takes the idea from halo series they had some pretty solid titles back in those days it's a very fun game sheep has been sunk and yeah bro this, this was a very solid start, I would say. Graphics-wise, everything-wise, man, we are getting so many good stuffs on the PlayStation Vita. This was Backstab HD for the PlayStation Vita. If you like this tutorial video, please make sure to drop a like and subscribe. I'm going to see you guys on the next one. Dr. Brute 7, signing off. Peace.